yes, I have been really active on Twitter lately. Something crazy happened a couple weeks back that I don't think we ever talked about. <laughs> Morning. Morning, Ked. Today's the best day ever. Do you know why? Why? Because it's Tuesdays together. Ooh. So it's actually like a fact that it's the best day ever. Did you know that? I do now. Okay, good. No, I'm super excited. It's business planning month and today is Tuesdays together. So obviously it's the day that all of our chapters meet and all of the work that we do all month goes into this day. So I'm going to be on my phone all day, going through social media, cheering people on, encouraging our leaders, highlighting different chapters and reposting their content. And to me, it is just this amazing opportunity to get to connect with the extraordinary people who are building the creative economy. Seven by seven, let's go. Seven by seven. Every day we do this and we're almost late every day. I know. You, you actually are almost late. Every Tuesdays together, I started off by doing a leader live. So I hop into the Facebook group with our leaders. We have over 600 in there and I do a little mini live just to get everybody excited, get everybody ready. So that's exactly what we're doing right now. And normally I have at least one technological glitch. Hi leaders, happy Tuesdays together. I cannot believe, first of all, that it's October. I had a minute earlier where I said, oh, it's September, it's Tuesdays together. And then I had to delete the Insta story because I realized it's actually October. I don't know if anyone's ever had that problem, but this year has flown by and this month is business planning. And I'm super excited for this topic because I feel as though when we set out to create a mission that was designed around empowering and educating creative entrepreneurs in the spirit of community over competition, empowerment, a huge piece of empowerment is giving people the tools that they need to succeed. And part of that involves goal setting, uh, planning, actually thinking strategically about your business. So this month's a really big one. Many of you guys know when Rising Tide was started, I felt incredibly overwhelmed to myself. It's not a secret that I have struggled with anxiety and depression throughout most of my adult life, but it really played a huge role in being an entrepreneur because I not only had to deal with the same things I dealt with my whole life, but now you add the weight and the heaviness of a business and the anxiety of sort of running everything, being being the boss. And, and I think that we have so many members of our community, I mean, we know we do, the statistics are one in every three, but we have a ton of members in our community, a ton of people in your local community, that when they show up to Tuesdays together, this is not just an opportunity for them to learn, but this is a, a huge component of their mental health as a business owner, and I'll explain why. With that, I love you guys so much. I hope you have an amazing Tuesdays together. If you need anything at all, just let us know, and uh, have a really great day, and have fun at business planning. All right, bye guys. Awesome. No tech errors this time. Well done. Yes. Are you actually gonna give your phone number in the comments? Of course I am. Are you serious? Yeah, we probably should get me a, we, we've talked about this. We do it right now. How Something's, many people are in that group though? You know, like 700. It's not that, it's not that bad. Here's the hard part. We'll get another number, we'll get it set up. But the whole point of why I do this is because I care about people. Right. So it's so hard for me to, and I know we need to, and, we've, and it's been good. The team's helped me to kind of take certain steps to protect like my privacy and protect like certain things. But I, I just, I need to be accessible. So it's finding that balance because at the end of the day for me, none of the rest of it matters. Like none of it matters if I can't truly be there for people. Mm. It's the whole reason why I do it. And I mean that, like nothing. So if that can't happen, if I can't find a way to do it, then I've got to, you know, change something else. So I'm with you. I'm really with you on it. But um, I, yeah, I feel like I just, that's like my heart. I just need to be there. How did the launch of the presets go? Really well, really, really well. Um, 500 people downloaded them and are already using them. 500 so, people. So since like late last night when we posted it. So that's really awesome. And the feedback I'm getting is amazing. So I'm really excited about it. It's so funny. A lot of people were like, I cannot believe you're giving these to us, you know? And um, I'm like, well, of course I am giving them to you. Like I, it was, it was just, I guess just really reaffirming that, um, you know, they being able to have this sort of community and sharing with one another, it pays off and it, it really helps people. So I love it. It's good so far. I haven't checked in a while, so it's probably more than 500 now, but. Wow. Yeah, and haven't you on Facebook? That's like really only on Instagram. No, no, I, I didn't. It's kind of looking like a lot no, of cereal over there. Spill spill. There's no spilled cereal. Oh, my bad. Yeah, sorry. Don't cry over spilled cereal, only over spilled milk. Yeah. Cheesy joke of the day, number one. 
Are you showing the image from Rising Tide on HoneyBook? Right? So what you can do is you can go to Discover, you can type in Rising Tide Society account, and it'll show you all the images Rising Tide's ever posted. And if you need help, I can probably do it for you. We are heading downtown. 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 We are heading downstairs to help Lindsay, who's our Tuesdays Together leader, load everything up because the meeting is going to start in just a few minutes. <gasps> I'm so excited. This is one of my favorites. Oh, I, I probably should have pushed that for you. That's on me. It's all good. Yeah. How did everything end up last night? Um, what was last night? Oh. Side project, Natalie. You launched the, the I presets. I know. It did it well. It did really well. People are loving the presets. I know. So people are using them already. I downloaded great. them. Have you tried them yet? Do you even use Lightroom? I don't know how to use Lightroom, but I downloaded them. Okay. <laughs> Very careful. Pumpkin. Guys, just don't. Hi, <laughs> Bye. What's going on? Will you take a picture? I need an Instagram. I can't see my feet from where you are, so feel free to just want to rearrange them or move them or whatever. You hear that, everybody? Uh, Natalie really thinks I'm a good vlogger. Not such a good Instagrammer, yeah. but a yeah. great yeah. Okay. Yeah. vlogger. Okay, so today's been crazy. I left my camera at my apartment, so I kind of had to hop in a lift and go all the way back, and Huey had to give him my, my camera, so that was sort of how we started the morning. And then I feel like I just went into the work cave and emerged 12 million hours later, and it's Tuesdays together. So there's a beautiful ending to this day, despite the fact that it's been chaotic and not what we expected at all. And that's the fact that a bunch of creatives are coming together right now, and we're gonna go paint pumpkins. So only in October do you business plan while painting pumpkins. I'm jealous. That sounds fun. I know. Well, you're going to get to do it. You don't have to be too jealous. So um, yes. one rule though. What? No judging me for how bad my pumpkin is. I don't believe you at all. No, really. Just wait. Just wait. When you see all the beautiful pumpkins and mine's a stick figure, mm -hmm. it, you'll, you'll understand. That's modern art. I know. I see right. you've been really active on Twitter lately. So yes, I have been really active on Twitter lately. Something crazy happened a couple weeks back that I don't think we ever talked about. No, we actually, we, I, we talked about it on the blog, and we were like, oh, let's cut it out, let's talk about it another time. Okay, so I'll just start here. Something really crazy happened. I got verified on Twitter. Don't really know what else to say other than the fact that it's insane, and it did and has led me to using the platform more. So we've been using Twitter a lot more, and uh, it's been kind of fun, mainly on the PR front. There's so many reporters on Twitter that are using it minute by minute that it's been really amazing to be able to connect with them and support them and uh, connect with the community a little bit on Twitter too, so it's been fun. But it's definitely not a platform that I have used a ton in the past or consider to be one of my top platforms. I'm much more of an Instagram Facebook girl, so this is an adventure. Kent likes to take credit for it. Ken thinks it's his idea. <laughs> I can't deny it, okay? Like, I'm not going to say that it wasn't Kent's idea, but I will say this. I am addicted to Twitter again, and I'm not really, really? ashamed of that. Yeah. Addicted. Addicted. When it comes to video and Insta stories, we, and I'm on the side of like, I keep hearing um, all of the complaints from people that are saying, oh, the Instagram algorithm, and like, you know, no one's getting as much reach and engagement. And for a while, I blinked on the algorithm, and now I'm realizing people are actually using the platform differently. They're no longer scrolling up and down. They're actually watching stories and scrolling side to side. Yeah. And so there are actually fewer people even looking at the photographs at all. They're spending their time in different places on the platform. 
that's a wrap. So the day is done. I am so tired. I'm going to collapse. I have been here since seven o'clock this morning. So 13 hours, but so worth it. And this is why we do everything that we do. So it was just really amazing to get to spend time with so many amazing creatives. And I guess until tomorrow, 